Hi guys, Dane here, and welcome to another episode of Five Buckish Facts. Today, we're taking a look at another request from Catalyst Reads. Don't blame me, he has some good ideas. And we're going to be taking a look at Five Buckish Facts about... Roll Dahl! One thing I would like to mention before we get started is that I have also done an episode specifically on Charlie and the Chocolate Factory and there's a link to that in the description below and do feel free to leave a comment if you've got a suggestion for a future episode and I will get to it if we can. Let's do this! So this first fact is more like a bundle of different little facts about how Dahl liked to work. So he wrote all of his children's stories in a little hut at the bottom of his garden. Uh, he never learned to type. He always used to write specifically with a pencil on yellow paper. He lived in Great Missenden, which is about eight miles away from where I am here. And there's now a Roald Dahl museum there. And his writing routine was that he wrote for four hours every day. So from 10 a.m. till noon and then from 4 p.m. till 6 p.m. Fact number two, we obviously know Dahl mostly for his children's stories, but he also wrote his fair share of stories for adults. He also wrote the screenplays for both Chitty Chitty Bang Bang and You Only Live Twice, the James Bond movie. A further fun fact about that is that both of those two things were also written in the novel form by the same author. They were written by Ian Fleming. Not many people realise that Ian Fleming, who wrote the Bond books, also wrote Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. So Dahl was also a fighter pilot in the Second World War, so back in 1940 while he was flying a Gloucester Gladiator, which was a fighter plane, he crash landed in the desert in Libya because someone had given him the wrong directions. A little later in the war he also worked as a spy, passing intelligence to MI6 from Washington. So we often think of Shakespeare when we think of writers who created a lot of new words with their work. But Dahl did the same, he actually created over 250 new words and there's even an official Oxford Roll Dahl Dictionary so that you can help to define those words and use them in casual conversation. Excuse me while I go to eat a snozcumber. Fact number five is that a lot of Dahl's inspiration actually came from his school days. He was never particularly good at school, he used to get in trouble with his teachers and they, one of them famously said that he'd never amount to anything. But uh, he also found inspiration there that he could put to work in his books. So one of the big ones is that his school was actually given chocolates by Cadbury's, the chocolate manufacturer. But they were given uh, specifically chocolates to test that weren't on general sale yet. And Dahl remembered his experience as a chocolate tester and started to think a little bit more about what kind of rooms you would have to invent chocolate in and that sort of thing. And that's how we ended up with Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. In fact, if you want to know a little bit more about that story, you can also find out about that in his book, Boy Tales of Childhood, which I recommend. So there we have it, there are five bookish facts about Roald Dahl. Be sure to let me know in the comments if you've got any suggestions for a future episode and I'll get to as many as I can. And in the meantime, please do hit subscribe and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye.